Well, welcome to a new episode of Real Estate vs. Technology. I'm your host, Norman Kinsey. Um, no Dan Gandy today. He's at a doctor's appointment. So I'm going to go ahead and give Mr. Dan Gandy some well wishes. If you're new here, we would love you to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit uh, also subscribe to the notification bell because we notified for every episode coming live on Mondays and Fridays. Today's going to be a Monday episode as we're going to go deeper into a YouTube channel living in Dallas, Texas with two individuals, a power team. But before we go ahead and intro them onto the show, let's go ahead and kick things off with our intro. Speaking of intro on the show, so we'll be with, back with you guys here in a second and welcome to a new episode of Real Estate First Technology. Welcome to a new episode of Real Estate First Technology, your number one resource to get the inside scoop from top performing real estate professionals. How are they growing their business utilizing technology in today's market? Here also from top performing coaches that can help and serve you and your real estate business and also technology providers. Let's go deeper with these technology providers to ask them how they got where they're at today and how maybe their services could better serve your real estate business. A big shout out to Liftoff Agent for sponsoring our podcast. Go ahead and go to liftoffagent.com to learn about their marketing and positioning services to help scale your real estate business. If you haven't already done so, like the episode, subscribe. We want you to comment on YouTube what you learned from the episode and give us a review if you're going to be listening and streaming this podcast. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and enjoy this week's podcast of Real Estate First Technology. All right. Welcome back to the show. Let's go ahead and get our guest on. If you're someone who's out there who wants to get a YouTube channel started and you want to know how to get started, the do's, the don'ts, and all the things, you're going to hear it right now. So we're going to go ahead and bring on our special guest. We have Mike and Marilyn on Real Estate First Technology. Welcome to the show today. Excited to have you on. Thank you. Thank you, Norman. Yeah, we're excited to be yeah, on. Thanks, Norman. Thanks for thinking of us. Yeah, of course, of course. And this is a brand new series. So on Mondays, these episodes come live. And then every Friday, we have our normal episode interviewing coaches and technology providers and top performing real estate professionals. But today's episode is going to be all about you all, your mm. real estate business. Why did you get in the business? And how is this YouTube channel really helping your business? Because I know living in Dallas, Texas, Dallas, Texas, I know, is growing quite a bit with yes. before we right. got on it. So let's exactly. let's talk about this. I, I know you all. I know I know Mike. You come from San Francisco. You know, Mar- right. Marilyn, you come from New York. You met in the middle in Texas. Yes. And, and, yes. How, and, and how real estate? I, I'm really curious. So, go okay. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we. You know, he's been in real yeah. estate for a while. He started back in 2001. Okay. Right? in real estate. So I, I was in real estate in the early 2000s. Um, and that was in 2001. I'm actually the son of a realtor. My dad was a realtor when I grew up in San Francisco. So used to the vernacular, used to the lifestyle and, and always had, you know, kind of a passion for the real estate business. But yeah, I was uh, in real estate from 2001 till about 2004. And then just, to, you know, the, the our, our personal situation changed a little bit. And back into the hospitality business, but always um, had that entrepreneurial spirit to get back into something um, of my own. And I did really well back in 2001 and 2004, but um, had to get back into, uh, you know, the, the, a different type of business then, but really excited now and things are going great. And uh, we have a great uh, business that we're building and it's great to be working with my lovely wife Aww. and uh, building something new. I love that. It's on Valentine's Day today too, and I know you're you're coming up on an anniversary in a couple of days. We'll yeah. be um, thirty-two years married. Thirty-two years married, right? Wow! Congratulations. Three, three adult kids, and um, but you know we are excited. I, you know, yeah. it's funny that we've been married this long and and we're in business together, but we've always worked worked well together. Um, right. Even in our corporate right. world, that's where we met. Right. Thirty-five years ago, I was in sales. And um, you know, through life events, ended up here. But we've been now full time partners. Right. We're going in our fourth year um, wow. together, yeah. and very excited as to where our business is going, how it's changing, and how, how we see things escalating year after year for us. Wow. That is awesome. Well, congratulations to you both. That's awesome. One thing to find each other, you know, in love and marriage and another thing to find yourselves together now (laughs) in business. So that's so cool. And it looks like on the YouTube channel, you've had it for a couple of years now. And so let's talk a little bit about what was like the first thing that like 
kind of like that, that interest. So you're like, all right, let's start a YouTube channel just randomly one day, or how did it come about? Hmm. So when we started in the business was before COVID, right? right. And so you couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. And so I really started doing FaceTime lives, right? Live on, on, mm. on, on Facebook. I mean, Facebook live, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then um, started, started talking about YouTube. And so I put a few videos out there called Real Estate Minute with Marilyn. Oh. Did not know how to market mm. it. Did not mm. know how to broadcast that. I thought just upload a video and it'll right. be fine. Yeah. Well, a couple of years later, uh, with the group that we're with, uh, EXP, um, it's a Mike Sherrard. He's a great, you know, big on YouTube. Mm -hmm. He's mentored us and he showed us. And so through that, we've been able to develop the channel right. Right. and hopefully continue to develop it to provide the content that viewers want. I yeah. love that. That's super awesome. And uh, yeah, shout out Mike Sherrard. He's one of our first guests on Real Estate First Technology. Yeah. He's a friend of mine and joined us last year for our second annual event of What's Next for Real Estate. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so we, we love, we love, to hear, yeah. Yeah. love to hear from past guests. That's great. So, so okay, so you got trained up. You, you started the YouTube channel, about 237 subs now. Uh, the channel name is Living in Dallas, Texas. So anyone that's viewing and listening, links down below mm -hmm. to check out the channel. Go ahead and subscribe and give them some love. Um, so, so what, what kind of was the first couple of videos and what has it evolved to? So we can kind of get like a little bit of an idea of where it started and where it's headed. Um, I could just, I remember when it all just kind of first started too. my first <laughs> video was very, um, you know, with the phone out at the, um, there's a new PGA headquarters that just opened up Texas, and I was like, do a segment, uh, some YouTube segments on the, on the PGA, um, uh, Headquarters. So I went out with my phone and did a did a video and no editing, no nothing, couple of takes and uploaded it right to YouTube on my phone. And that was really even before we even started the channel. Wow. And um, so it was very quick. I didn't, you know, didn't know anything about SEOs or meta tags or you know we didn't even have a we didn't even we have a thumbnail. Right. We didn't have a thumbnail, we didn't have anything. <laughs> it's just the video was yeah. to YouTube social media things and you know actually uh, had some interest and picked up a piece of business off it from the first video i ever uploaded to youtube so wow. uh, that was a couple of years ago and now it's just kind of built ever since and wow. my wife has really done a fantastic job on uh getting our youtube up off the ground and uh, really developing it more so she is she is the queen here <laughs> I, I love it is to you know be able to provide content you know for buyers and sellers right um mm -hmm. and it's not just about the housing but it's about the trends it's about what's happening mm -hmm. in this great city that we live in because there's so much going on in the north right. dallas area that you know people are not aware of right i mean that's so true. that's our goal is to be able to put out this content and be able to be that resource yeah, definitely. And I have to, for the viewers and listeners out there, because I know some some individuals can kind of get like dialysis of paralysis. So it's like, all right, do I use a vlogging camera? Do I use a cell phone? Like <laughs> so, so you could use a cell phone first off. And also I know it can be frustrating if you put out multiple videos and don't see any ROI return on your right. investment. But it sounds like, I mean, congratulations, Mike, to automatically kick off with some business that automatically can give you that extra little motivation and kick of like yes like all right like this is this is going to be something here so that's yeah. that's great i love that part so, of your listeners too because i want them to know that hey you can get started easy with the phone and at the end of the day you never know when potentially business can come around the corner so let's talk a little bit about the the success that you've had with the youtube channel as you've progressed i see that you went from you know, no thumbnail to now you have the thumbnails to now you're really grabbing people's attention with more of a loud approach from pointing at things or the, the captions. Mm -hmm. How has that been uh, helpful towards growing the channel with having those thumbnails? You know, when you start considering how people are looking, mm -hmm. you have to really, you know, grab their attention, right? So yeah. um, learned mm -hmm. through reading some books 
following some mentors and what they're doing, following other YouTubers that are doing the same type of content that we are obviously right. mm -hmm. and trying to emulate, you know, what they're doing and see what their, what their success is. So, you know, between the thumbnails, I mean, learning how to edit, add, adding music, adding the graphics, learning to grab the attention, the view, the viewer's attention. And it's not just about us talking, but what can I do to grab your, grab your attention? Right. And when we're, when I'm scrolling through YouTube, looking for something, whether I'm looking to fix a refrigerator or <laughs> do something in the backyard, where do you go to? You go to YouTube, you know, yeah. and you, you see, you know, look at the thumbnail and say, well, what is he doing? What is, is, is he the person I want to follow? So that makes a big difference when you're looking Something that, um, that's kind of a developing now it's in progress as far as our thumbnails and putting that together because it was what do you see on YouTube and then you translate that into your business thinking that's what yeah. people are looking for as well so yeah I love that that makes a lot of sense and so whoever's listening and viewing that definitely gets some inspiration it sounds like you just go on YouTube do some research by just going through looking at thumbnails seeing what grabs your attention right. and potentially mimicking that sounds like a really good idea. I love that. And so, and so what has been, what would you suggest if someone's viewing and listening, what would you suggest as far as do they need to edit? Do they don't need to edit? Like how did you guys progress with, with your videos? So I think mm. editing is important. Yeah. You know, it really is because you, it allows you to kind of cut all of that. Sometimes a lot of empty space that you have in between. Right. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah. I believe that if your video, sometimes depending if, you know, of one topic can be so long, you mm. after, again, the attention. So I think editing is really important. I believe that, and there's a lot of, you know, I've used a couple of applications now and I'm doing a new one. And I really am excited about it. So, you know, editing is important. You know, music is important. Transitions right. are important. You know, the kind of graphics that you add onto your, uh, you know, whether it's the titles and things like that. These are all important. Wow. I love that. I love that. So, so you're doing your own editing in-house, it sounds like? Right now. I love it. A, I didn't know that as a realtor, I had to become an editor as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and on the advice of, of other mentors are like, you need to send it out, you know, but I'm a control person. So I have to <laughs> understand. And it's nice to understand what you're doing and how it works. And then you can hand it off after you yeah. have the education. So that sounds like that's very much makes sense. And so um, editing software, do you have any suggestions for our viewers and listeners of maybe something that they could maybe download and check out for themselves? It's working for you guys. So we're a Mac. I'm a Mac person. Yeah. So I started with Here. iMovie. <laughs> um, so iMovie is, is the most basic. Okay. And you can, you know, learn to use it. It is free, you know, because for me, if nice. I didn't know how, we didn't know where this was going to take us. No. And so didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. So, you know, I and I to the 14 and uh, got a gimbal, just a regular right. stabilizer to right. be able to, yeah. so your hand's not shaking and you're not going like this on your videos, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. then I started with the iMovie and I started just editing there, cutting out what I didn't want, simple transitions. Now we, I've transitioned to, it's called Filmora 12. Yes. Um, love it because it has just mm. opened up a whole new world of effects, yeah. <laughs> transitions, all <laughs> So, you know, I, I definitely would not spend a whole lot of money when you're first starting out. I would start very yeah. simple, you know, with something that's free or something that's not that expensive. I love that. And it's hard to get her off of the uh, off of the editing platform at times because she's having so much fun trying new things. And she says, oh, come here, come here. Check this out. See what I've done over here. Look at this transition. So love it. Really uh, editing videos and learning and educating herself and um, she's the producer and I just do what she tells me to do and it usually ends up being great I so. paid him to say that <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day. <laughs> I love that I love that that's so cool and that's where I feel like you know at the end of the day I'm gonna put my hand up here since I waved at y'all it was uh, the camera follows me around wherever I go um, but 
I love that. Start simple for the viewers and listeners. If you go into your computer or you can download something for free, that's great. I, I use iMovie as well. And then I love Flamora. I think that's great. Um, and it is, it is, it is very nice because you could just drag and drop and you drag and drop the transition and then you can go in and get all the stickers or, you know, overlay an image or, you know, a still video or a stock video, should I say, if you wanted to showcase like an area of Dallas, Texas, that's, that's, that's awesome. I absolutely agree with you both on that. And it's, it is kind of fun sometimes you're like, wait, honey, I got a couple more things I want to do. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> It is time consuming, but um, she's done a fantastic job on on editing all the videos and and getting the subscribership up. So I love that. I love that. So we would love to understand what does it look like for the next 12 months? Where do you see your channel going? So if anyone wants to our viewers and listeners wants to follow you, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow your journey, get tips from you. What is the goal for the channel for our viewers and listeners? Because we would love to get you back on in a year to see how things are going, uh, you know, catch up with y'all. So what's the goal for the channel? Yeah. So right now we, you know, this past year we focused on a lot of um, video tours right. or tours, home tours, right? Model, Model home homes, you know, all of our listings, yeah. market yeah. updates, because last year was really important. Everybody wanted to know what's going on in yeah. the market, right. you know, how a home's sitting on the market, how long it for, how the prices well, 2023 has brought a different, a different feel to real estate. Yeah, we all right, know that, right. you know, the rise yeah. in interest rates, the lowering, you know, the decrease in, in home prices. So our focus this year really is to do more of what it's like to live in, but what's happening in the area, whether it's businesses moving in, what types of amenities are available in the Dallas right. area, right? So whether hospitals, schools, entertainment, yeah. uh, things like that, neighborhoods, visit neighborhoods right, and right. do walking tours of neighborhoods. So that's our goal. Awesome. Uh, in the area of Dallas and, and the DFW Metroplex itself has really just started evolving, especially over the past couple of years with everybody moving in here. Yeah. And buying a home now is more than just buying, you know, um, the home, how, yeah. you know, how many bedrooms, how many baths, how many, you know, how you're looking for areas, you're looking for communities, you're looking for, you know, how, how do I get to work? So yeah. knowing more, educating people about the area that they're moving into is very important. And, you know, it's just the, the scope of that can be um, so large and the Metroplex is so huge that, you know, um, school districts that DFW has to offer, the great entertainment, the great shopping, dining. Um, it's really come a long way around here. So our focus is going to be to educate people on what's going on around all the different areas. So Wow. I love that. that. So it's got enough to keep us busy for the rest of the year. <laughs> yes. And yeah. anyone who's listening and viewing that potentially wants to move to Dallas, Texas, they definitely subscribe and check out your content. I'll be on the lookout as well. See what you're going to be posting to put out there. Cause that's exactly what I did. Uh, moving from California to Arizona. I was looking for someone that could show me around the area before I got there I found some random guy at the cell phone who was not a licensed real estate professional, but <laughs> got to understand a little bit of the area so i see this becoming more and more popular and i'm really excited to see how how all that unravels for you guys and before we close out the show i would love to well, any last advice for viewers and listeners that want to start a youtube channel that are where you guys were at just a couple of years ago that you would give for some advice that they could take and maybe help them with their journey well, I'll, I'll give you the my thousand foot view. Uh, I would say you you have to you have to not be afraid to start off. You know, pick up your phone, make a video. You don't like it, delete it. Then yeah. try it again, change it around. You know, it may take you ten times, but get used to seeing yourself. You know, talking on the phone and see what. After a while, you'll get used to it and then, you know, seeing yourself. And then if you don't like it, delete it. If you don't like it, delete it. Start again and just keep doing it, doing it. 
And after a while, you know, it'll it'll fall into place. I love it. You know, my my yeah. thought on that is exactly that. Just get started. Right. But also, you know, what brings because for, for a woman, for me, for a female, yep. things have to take place. And so for women, it's a little bit different. Right. We gotta do our hair, we gotta do our makeup. Yep. You know, but at the same time, it's doing it, but also knowing your content. So so right. Just don't get on, understand that you are the subject matter expert, right? right? And so do a little research and keep them yeah. short. Keep your video yeah. short. That and then move forward. Yeah. I love that. I love that. That's awesome. No, that's great. I think that that makes a lot of sense. Just get started, pick up the camera. You gotta do a couple takes, totally fine. For the females right. out there, Hair and makeup, I get it. Maybe even like <laughs> angles. Yeah. It's really important. <laughs> Make sure you get the right angle. But uh, right. Exactly. it doesn't take me long to get my hair ready in the morning. I'm just I'm yeah. ready to go. But you know, it is we. You know, one thing is we do have a lot of fun. Make a good video, but um, yeah. we really enjoy doing it. And it is it's you got to enjoy what you're doing as well. And we enjoy making the videos. We enjoy real estate and that's important. So, you know, um, it's fun. So if you're afraid to start, just start because you'll, you'll really enjoy doing it. Um, it's been good for us uh, growing together as well, making videos. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Well, Mike, Marilyn, we appreciate you both being on an episode of First Technology. This is a pleasure. And um, subscribe to their YouTube channel, Hit Vacation Vale. Let's follow the journey for the next 12 months. We'd love to have you guys both on. So thanks so much again. All right. All right. Well, we really appreciate yeah. the time. We really right. appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. And, hey, guys, don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All and right. We want to say thank you all so much for tuning in for our viewers and listeners. Also, subscribe to our channel as there is our intention for you to take things from these episodes to apply your business and more massive success. And we will see you all on the next all right. one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.